Okay, so we had talked to the people that we bought, or the company that we bought the mobile home from, and told them that we would need um, to schedule it with our jobs, and also we need a heads up for when the house is gonna be delivered, right? Well, we get a call this morning, we're both at work, that the house is on the way. Not only is it on the way, it's 20 minutes away. We are more than 20 minutes away from the property. I am about 35 minutes away and Austin is about 45 minutes away at his job. I'm very excited. <laughs> By the time he talked with the delivery driver, because he didn't get him on the phone the first time he called, by the time he talked to him, they were already sitting on our road. And they're like, hey, where do you want us to put it? What way do you want the door? And we're like, uh, we want to be there because we want to make sure, like, we have it staked out. But, you know, you just want to be there and make sure that it's where you want it. And Austin's like, so this is supposed to be, like, a really fun time, but this is really stressful. And I'm like, well, at this point, you know, we just have to roll with it because it is what it is, you know? So I am, he's there and I am about, um, five minutes away now and they already have it probably on the land at this point. Um, and so, oh, I just cannot wait to get there. Five minutes away. Let's go. No. We're gonna do it post delivery because I know y'all have to drive over it. It's gonna be all this is gonna be the second lines right here. Yes. Do you need me to cut it down? Yes. Well, um it's shut off, but I've got it's a live line. So if y'all need me to I can cut it down and we can re I can repipe it. Cause I have no idea how high I need to be out of the ground.
it is an evening after the septic tank got installed and now we have brick masons that are going to be coming out and we do not want anybody else also plumbers and electricians and we don't want anyone else driving through this opening because this was just opened for the house and now that the septic tank is installed they would be driving over our freshly installed septic tank so we're gonna work on blocking this off they need to actually use the driveway now because we are getting closer to getting in this house and i cannot believe it so excited so let's get these poles in <laughs> So the brick and the porches are done now and so we haven't seen it since either of those things have happened. So we are going to check the progress. We had inspections today from the county and next thing is getting the power hooked up with the power company because the county gives the all clear to hook up the power and then we'll walk through with Homex and make sure that everything looks good on the inside and then we'll have the keys so we are gonna go check it now that brick looks way better out there oh my the gosh it does it was really red on the palace and here it's like not red at all sandstone it looks natural. great with that siding too look from here you can just power just like you can't even see the pole right that porch was a little bigger than i thought it was in that photo See what we got. Pass. All points okay. Us. We already have our first house guest. Who's that? <laughs> A big old cricket. keys and we are ready to move in we yeah. cannot wait to live here i cannot believe that from three years of owning the property that there is an actual house here like there actual house like what and so i know what you're thinking what are you guys gonna do with the shed it's still gonna be a cabin yep we're still gonna <laughs> transform it Yes, and so, but in the meantime of while we're building the shed into our cabin, then we can have a place to live. And so we are super excited. We kind of ended up on this path just because looking at camper prices and then we knew that we needed to cover the camper in some kind of like barn in order to make it last longer. Those have gone insane the roof, yeah. up in prices in our area, like three times what they cost a year ago prices. So after looking now, mind you we're looking at like the all season live in 30 35 foot 
uh, we were even looking at like fifth wheels just so we'd be more comfortable. And right. I can't even haul a fifth wheel. They would have delivered it for us. Right. But then to add on top of that, the steel prices have gone through the roof and we can't even get into a good carport cover for it for less than $6,000. Right. And if I'm buying the carport, we were going to do a barn style that we could have, you know, somewhere for the tractor and the enclosed trailer the car hauler trailer so i wasn't gonna buy just a simple right because we have other things that we would need to cover and so it was 10 to 15 grand to just, get a yeah shelter. and so then it just really didn't make sense that we would bill or put so much money into something that we wouldn't keep so yeah between camper and the shed yeah we got a whole house and we got a great deal on it and we are yeah, we did. so <laughs> excited we could not believe it so um yeah three bedrooms two baths let's go take a look yeah join us inside this is the living room and we love the big windows and we've already seen like a whole bunch of wildlife, so we're super yeah. excited about this being our backyard. excited we've had a lot of barbecues out here and oh my gosh yes so also bathroom wise like we use a five gallon bucket with the toilet seat on it the, ca the camp it's it's not like it's... i was like oh, we have a real bathroom yeah we have flushable water oh and you can wash your hands in a sink <laughs> it's crazy so, but yeah we did have like a bucket situation that you get from like the camping store <laughs> definitely a situation <laughs> this is the laundry room so it's right off the kitchen and the room off the kitchen is the master and it has big pretty windows that look over at the old homestead yeah. and the uh, 80 year old pecan tree right off the master we have actually a really nice to give you a perspective closet all that is hers just kidding <laughs> it is mine no <laughs> so it'll be shared but oh my gosh i think if we were in a camper if we took all the closet space we could combined that would have been, that been more it. than what we would have had in the camper so that's definitely doable. We're super excited. Yeah. Come check out this bathroom. This like sold me on the house because after working on the farm all day, like I, we would get so sore and it has a soaker tub and I love a bath. Um, I'm also excited about the storage that it has. And then it has a blank wall on the other side that I'll probably add some more storage to. It has his and her sinks which we have been married for almost eight years now we've never had double sinks so it's like what this is fancy and then obviously a toilet that's not a bucket so <laughs> that's impressive and then um a shower with the little seats in there so that's nice but there's more to see like it's not a camper what right i will say one of the first things we've already bought for the house just for the luxury aspect are the new rain shower heads with the wands for taking showers. So this is where the um, HVAC unit is, where it does like the return and also that's like a, was it mechanical closet? I think is what they call it. So this is one of the um, other bedrooms and this is actually gonna be my office since I work from home and it also has a closet. So it's like, ooh, I can hide some stuff in here. It might end up doubling as another pantry. 
And this is the third bedroom at the end of the hall. So this is bigger. And so we will be we'll be using this room just to help get the house settled for a while until we need to use this room more. And it also has a closet. And here we have the second bathroom. So one sink, toilet, tub, shower, combo. Plenty of room in here. Way more room than a camper would have provided, but we can, you know, rejuvenate ourselves. We can enjoy ourselves while uh, doing all these projects and transforming that cabin and this entire property. Yes. But you do need something for the next exciting part of this video. You need some socks. Come with me. What do you have? We have some exciting news. We have our first sponsor. So Hi C, which is a boot company, reached out to us and asked if we wanted to partner with them. And they sent us some boots to try. And I was like, um, the thing is, we already have your products. We already use your boots. We have your waders. And they were like, oh, that's awesome. And I was like, we already love them and tell people about them. We bought them for our nephews. Like, they're awesome. They were like, well, we'll send you a pair of boots. You can give a review of them. And we will give you guys a code that you can tell your viewers. And if you want to get a percentage off, you can. If you want to buy some boots, it's like... 15% off and the code is CRF, but let's open our boots and see what we got. We actually found High Seat on Amazon and started using or ordered our first set because of the lifetime warranty. We're like, lifetime warranty on boots? Like, and right. they're waterproof? We had to give them a try. And yep. so we already know and love the company. So it was a no brainer that we were like, yeah, we'll take some boots and offer a discount. Like, that sounds awesome. So let's see what we got. Love them. And guys, they offer a wide variety of different boots. These are more of a mud boot type. But they also offer steel toe, low profile, mid calf. Um, these are the ladies pull on slipper style um, boots. Uh, Ashley's got higher arches, so these are perfect for her to get her foot in. Um, let's try them on. All right. Oh my gosh, I love like the handles on the side yep. because for real, I do have a hard time with boots, but I haven't had a hard time with high C, but these are games. I love the handles. That was so easy to get on. I'm so excited. Every pair of cowgirl cowboy boots she's ever had is a struggle to get off and on. Yeah. And then she just doesn't wear them. So we end up coming out here working the farm, messing up perfectly good sneakers because even days we're doing simple projects, we're stepping in mud, clay, um, fresh cut grass. You guys know that can stain up a good pair of tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. Just all the different rough and tough briars. So these are heavy neoprene and rubber. Um, so they're going to be a lot more durable than yeah. just traditional tennis shoes are going to be. All right, let's see yours. Let's see what I got. Yeah. I went with something a little different. And for all you bigger guys out there, you don't know what I'm talking about. There's that lifetime warranty. I went with a, uh, a roll up, um, a lower cut style. I had to go with these because my calves pinch bad on a lot of uh, mid calf and high calf boots. So I went with these so that I can just pop them on and off. Let's see if we can do it, no hands, straight on. And my calves is not gonna get pinched if I need a little bit more, let's see here. If we need a little bit more, I can tuck my pants in and then even tie it off to keep my pants dry if I was wearing long pants. Um, but these are great because then they're not coming all the way up, pinching on my calves. We have had multiple family members be like, y'all like wear boots with shorts and like, yes, it's hot and you're working, but you want your feet protected. Like it's a Carolina thing, I think. Be rocking this look all summer thank you yeah i wear boots all the time with shorts <laughs> all right well now that we have our boots on and we're not gonna mess up our shoes let's go take a look at the backyard
Thanks for joining us today on this little tour of our new home. Um, if you're just following us for the first time, please uh, like and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos to see the progress and where we've come from on this farm. And we probably need to get to work since we can't even agree on how many projects we need to start first. Or which project to start first. Or where to start. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.